This is a live channel's television event. Your Excellency Sasi Nalai Fubar, GSSRS Governor of River State. Your Excellency Professor Mrs. Ngozi Odo, DSSRS, Deputy Governor of River State. Ambassador Desmond Akao, DSSRS, Chairman, People's Democratic Party, River State. Secretary to the State Government and members of the State Executive Council. Engineer Dr. Lars Reacher, Managing Director, Chilas Bejo, PLC. Mr. Sonuno. Motiu, Chairman, Julius Berger, PLC, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Works, Gentlemen of the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen. Your Excellency, at your inaugural address on May 29, 2023, you said, and I quote, we witnessed unprecedented growth in infrastructure in the last eight years, but there's still more to do. Therefore, we will follow in our leaders' steps to invest in capital projects, including roads, bridges, electricity supply, and social housing. With interconnecting road network, the need for affordable, conducive, and safe public transportation cannot be overemphasized as River State continues to grow in leaps and bounds. We will, therefore, partner with the private sector to develop an integrated multimodal public transportation system to advance mass mobility and access to socioeconomic opportunities across the state. We will also construct the Port Harcourt Ring Road to enhance the mobility of goods and services across the state. End of quote. Your Excellency, it is on this premise and in line with the continuity and consolidation mantra of your administration that we are here this afternoon, exactly 45 days after your resumption of office, to witness the signing of the construction agreement between the government of River State and Julius Berger PLC for the construction and dualization of the Port Harcourt Ring Road, one of the biggest single landmark project in the region, a road that will cut across the senatorial districts, transversing not less than six local government areas of the state. Your Excellency, to perform the task, may I with your leave invite Professor Zakios Adango, SAN, the Honorable Attorney General of River State, Dax Alabo George Kelly, Honorable Commissioner for Works, River State, and Mrs. Eberi Dennis Emenike, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Works, to sign on behalf of the River State Government. While signing on behalf of Julius Berger PLC, may I respectfully invite Engineer Dr. Lars Reacher, Managing Director, Julius Berger PLC, and Engineer Raymond Mauricio, Assistant Regional Manager.
Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed the signing of construction agreement between the government of River State and Julius Berger PLC for the construction and dualization of the Port Harcourt Ring Road. Your Excellency, with your permission, may I invite to give a speech Engineer Dr. Lars Richter, Managing Director, Julius Berger, Nigeria PLC. Members of the Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to adapt existing protocols. On behalf of the entire management and staff of Julius Berger Nigeria PLC, I share the honor of welcoming you all on this very meaningful occasion for the contract signing of the construction and dualization of Port Harcourt Ring Road. Having been challenged and tested by the government and people of River State, with every magnificent project since the inspection, uh, inception of the last administration from 2015 to the first quarter of this year, for which Julius Berger and Nigeria PLC never failed, it now justifies why we should sign the contract for the construction and dualization of the ring road today. The record demonstrates a success story of River State, a commitment of Julius Berger, and a strong partnership between River State and Julius Berger. Consequently, we have signed the contract for the construction of the ring road today, which consists of 45 kilometer long dualized road, six flyovers and one creek bridge. The River State government has shown their vision and foresight in a true investment in infrastructure for progress. We commend the River State government for this and we are honored to be chosen partners again for construction of the vision by the new executive governor of River State, His Excellency Sir Simonalai Fubara. On behalf of the entire management and board of directors of Julius Berger Nigeria PLC, I thank you for your trust and for giving our company the opportunity to deliver on the biggest project with the River State government ever. Thank you very much and God bless Nigeria. Your Excellency, may I respectfully invite you to give your remarks. The Executive, um, the Deputy Governor of the State, members of the State Executive Council, the Chairman of our dear party, The chairman of uh, Julius Berger and the managing director, my friend, and other members of this team that are here to officiate and witness, more especially my team and my team for now, although we are still expanding, the deputy governor and these faces that you are seeing by the left, the executive council of the new administration. We are happy because we are doing something that government before us have conceived. Some who had so much money, some even saved hundreds of millions of billions of naira in bank accounts, but they couldn't venture into it. But we are here today. Not that we won't have the money, but we are daring it. So I'm happy. For Judas Bader, the reason why we engage you, not a mystery, mysteries, landmark development in this place. Not been achieved without you. We have 
have the cases of our flyovers, you are instrumental to them. So we choose your company to embark on this project, not because we like your faces, no, but we want to give the state quality. We want to ensure that this project, as we start it, we will complete it. And if we have to do it, we need a reputable company, company that has the track record of delivering. So we are not doing this because we like you. We are doing it because we want you to still show that level of performance that you have been doing, have been recording in the state. On our part as a government, we will meet our own obligation. After this event, we're paying you. The total value of, of the contract is 195.3, and we're paying you 77% of it, which is about 150. About 150 plus. And in our agreement, we have agreed with you that once we have confirmed delivery, of 75% of the initial fund released will commence your balance. And we are committed to that, I can assure you. <laughs> Let me also say this. This project is transversing about six local governments, Okrika Eleme, Echie, Ikwere, Obiakpo and Faga. In these LGAs, communities or villages, whatever we call them, that this project are going to run through, let me make this statement very clearly. The community chiefs, the traditional rulers there, must cooperate with you. Any traditional ruler with his youth that wants to be a problem will immediately be suspended and any youth caught trying to sabotage a government will be prosecuted. I'm not joking. It's important to us. This project is important to us. So anybody who is going to be a Jonah, we're not going to throw you out of the ship, but we'll kill you. Because if we throw you out of the ship, you might still survive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> so, for the good people of River State, when we started, we assured you that we will not give you anything but the best. This project is going to open up the state. It is going to bring a fast and modern development. In terms of estate, uh, uh, call it a real estate investment, it will venture into it. It will expand the scope of this state. It will not be just Faga and Obiapo and some section of Eleme, but every other place that it passes through will be part of a new city in River State. <laughs> so it is important to us that everybody should give us the necessary support. Necessary support, I mean that, because we need this project. For a few people who are saying, why are we embarking on this project now? It's a project that is going to run for 36 months. If this project is running for 36 months, when is the best time to start it? 
the way started after two years, this is the right time. So that before the twilight of our administration, this project will be commissioned. And people will see the benefit. I used to remember those days when the previous administration was doing expansion of Portacot flyovers. Hey, flyover, flyover. But today, everybody is benefiting from it. Everybody is seeing the usefulness of that reunion, urban reunion. If not for anything, the movement of people from town to anywhere you want to talk about, even in is it, uh, Lebe Junction, it's, it takes less than five minutes. Before, we used to have problem when you get to Garrison, when you get to Rumola, even GRA. I'm not talking about the issue that you face when you get to artillery. But it is not the story anymore. So for development to come, initially people will suffer. There will be inconveniences, but at the end, there will be a new face. The place will change. Urban renewal is not just something you just design. Inconveniences goes with it. So for those people that are going to suffer in the course of this project, let me plead with you to be patient with us. It is just something for a while, after which you will start benefiting from what we are doing. For the other parts of the state, let me assure you that we will still come to every sector of the economy of these states. We will touch the health sectors. We will touch the educational sectors with quality projects. Just like the standard we're giving to these projects, we're not going to reduce the standard when it comes to other sectors. So uh, relax your gun. Don't release whatever it is you have in your barrier. Wait to see what we're doing before you release your shot. But I assure you, there is no need to release anything because we are prepared and will meet all the standard and the needs of river states by the special grace of God. <laughs> Let me close by once again But not like a warning, but requesting from Julius Badger, you have been doing well. Let this one not be an exception. Perform the way you used to perform. On our part, we will give you all the necessary support and assistance to make sure that you deliver on time. Thank you, and may God bless everyone. Commissioner for Finance, uh, Dr. Kamalo, the uh, Kamalo Esquire.
Uh, so they are here to throw more light on the just concluded uh, signing of this um, um, Porter Court Ring Road project. Uh, so let me uh, leave them to give some meat and details to the road. Uh, first of all, calling on the Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General, Professor Adango, please, sir. just executed a construction agreement for the construction and realization of the Ring Road, uh, which promises to be a very historic and legacy project ever back upon by any government in this country. That contract is for a duration of 36 months. And I want my colleague, the Commissioner for Works, and the Commissioner for Finance to speak to other specific aspects of the contract agreement. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, what you have just uh, witnessed is the agreement signing ceremony for our legacy and our signature project, the Port Harcourt Ring Road. The Port Harcourt Ring Road is a road that previous governments of River State had attempted to do without success. The previous government of River State initiated the process and today we have finally started the process with the agreement signing and the project will commence immediately. Like the Attorney General rightly said, the duration of the project is going to be 36 months, three years. And for us to achieve this, Monsieur Julius Berger will have to have at least six teams and be working concurrently on six locations. The road is a total of 50.15 kilometer of dual carriageway, meaning that if it was a single lane, you'd be talking of about 100 kilometers. Now, of the 50.15 kilometers, 45 kilometers is dual carriage way. And then we have six flyovers and one river crossing bridge. So seven bridges in all. And so the flyovers will be having a total length of 4.8 kilometers. You know what that means. And then the river crossing bridge is 350 meters. The project is subdivided into two loops. We have the northern loop and we have the southern loop. The starting point of the project will be the southern loop. And the point from which we will start is the UTC junction. Now, instead of going through in Germanza Street, we are going to veer into what looks like a valley there towards um, um, Kidney Island and then take like a quadrant curve and get to what we call Rumoji Street, formerly Abakeliki Street. And then we we'll go left again to Uruala Street meaning that all of these roads will now be dual carriageways. 
And then we'll move on to Elabushi Street. At the end of Elabushi Street, we're going to go left towards Eagle Island behind the Ajib Oil Company. We're going to hit a bridge across the river there to Ngbodoya community. From Ngbodoya community, we're going to go straight to hit Aka Road. From Aka Road, we're going to go right and hit the Olumini Precom Road. On that road at the point where you have St. John's Junction, we are going to have another flyover there. And then we we'll move left towards, towards Ogbogoro. At Ogbogoro, where you have the African Church, that junction, we are going to have a rotary intersection there. And then we we'll move on to the Ogbogoro to Alzoba Road. At the Ozoba Road, by the NTA Choba Road, that intersection, we're going to throw in another overpass or flyover there. That will be slightly snaky in nature because it's going to move all the way into Rumosi by the Choba NTA Road. And then we'll move from Rumosi to East West Road. Then we throw another flyover across from Rumosi, across East West Road to Rumoekini. So that is actually the end of the Southern Loop. The Northern Loop begins from the Rumoekini community, moves on to Mbodo, Alo, in the Query Local Government area. From Mbodo, Alo, we we'll move right and hit the airport road at the airport road junction by Mbodoalo. We're going to have a roundabout, an elliptical one. And then we're very right, still on that road, we'll get to Elekpokodu community where we have Jesuit Memorial College. Now we'll move on that road until we get to Elekpokodu by um, Ikwere Road. And then we move and throw in another flyover from there to get to Rukboko. We'll move into the Rukboko and Eka Road, which will now be dualized. By the time I will get to Eneka Roundabout. At Eneka Roundabout, because of the huge traffic situation there, we're going to have another, uh, another uh, flyover there, and we hit the Eneka Igboiche Road. At about chain age 2 plus 450 on the Eneka Igboiche Road, we're going to veer right and hit Igboiche Community. At the Goiche community, we'll have another rotary intersection, and then we'll go straight through the vegetation and some buildings there, and we'll hit um, Aba Road by Iriebe community, where we used to have the toll gate. At that point, we'll have another roundabout and another flyover. And then we'll move in through the vegetation, go behind the rear part of the Lelengwa community, and then get to Agbonchia community in Eleme local government area about 75 meters uh, from their back fence, Indorama back fence, there we'll have another rotary intersection. 
and then we veer right and get to a lesser refinery road, a lesser Eleme refinery road, and we'll have our final flyover and a roundabout there. Now you can see that this project cuts across several communities, and so the socioeconomic benefits cannot be overemphasized. One, lots of rivers, men and women will be employed in all the six segments of the project. The problem of traffic in Port Harcourt will be eliminated. And a strategic importance of this project is the fact that movement from MPA Wharf, for instance, to East West Road is easy in minutes. Movement from wherever you are to hit the airport through this route in a few minutes. Movement to Oné Port in a few minutes. Movement to the refinery in a few minutes. So you can see that critical inf government infrastructure that do business or that help the economy of this state are targeted. And so this is also going to attract investors, several kinds of investors, different sectors. So this is a brief description of this project. Like I said before, the project completion time is 36 months. That is three years. And they will be mobilized. And they will start work immediately. Thank you, and God bless you. Gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we are all aware, the issue of the Port Harcourt Ring Road has been a topical issue in our state for the past four decades. So today, we give glory to God for making this all-important project a reality. We thank His Excellency for the courage to ensure that this project take, has taken off as we are witnessing today. I also join my other colleagues to thank my brothers, the Honorable Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, and the Commissioner for Works, for their wonderful support. As you have been informed, the economic fallout of this project is massive for the state and even the neighboring states that have bought our state. And I believe that these fallouts will, over time, expand the economic activities and benefits that will fall out to both those who do business in Port Harcourt and River State and those who reside in the state. Government is totally committed to the realization of this project and to ensure that there is no impediment to its realization. Government has committed over 70 percent of the cost of project which will be paid to Junior's Badger soon as we have completed the signing of this agreement. So we want to thank each and every one of you for finding time to witness this all-important event, and we trust that the good Lord will see us to a successful completion. Thank you, and God bless you. Please, uh, the Honorable Commissioner of Works, when exactly is uh, flag off, and um, The flag off of the project will be on Monday. Um, and um, the location will be at uh, Chinage 0 plus 000, which is the UTC junction. Thank you. <laughs>